what you both think about this. Shannon, first, do you agree that LeBron should have won at least eight MVPs? Gilbert, I believe he should have more than four, but eight, <laughs> eight might be a little high. <laughs> Eight How might be about a, nine or ten? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's even higher than eight. So I'm going to say no. But, Skip, I believe there are, there are a couple of years that he probably should have won. I think the decision hurt his, hurt, hurt his chances that first year in, in, uh, in, in Miami. Um, the year that, uh, that Steve Nash won. Steve Nash at 18, was 18 and 10 with 54 wins. Braun was 31, 7 and 7 and had no help, and he had 50 wins. So you can make the case. Kobe also had a very compelling argument, but I think there were five guys that year that got at least 11 first place votes. But he has what? Two? He has four times he's finished second, three times he's finished third. So that just lets you know the level of consistency in which he's played with over the course of his career. So he's won four. He's been fourth. He's been second four times. That's eight. He's been third three times. That's 11. So 11 of his 17 years, he's in year 18, and we believe he'll be a top. If he doesn't win, he'll be a top three again. That just goes to show you, Skip, 12 of his 18 years, he's been top three in the MVP. That shows a level of consistency I don't know if we've ever seen in this game before. But every year there's a different storyline. We, we, we get the situation with Giannis, and, and, you know, not to take anything away from Giannis, but I do, I do believe, Skip, he should have more than four. He's playing unbelievable basketball, and there hasn't been a season in which he hasn't played unbelievable basketball. And you can make a case. Now, you can make a case for guys that have won it. I mean, I got no problem with, with Russ getting a triple-double and winning it. Hell, you got to give it to him. I don't care if he finished in dead last. A man averages a triple-double for the entire season, has 42 games in which he has a triple-double. Give that man the MVP. James Harden, what he did, give that man the MVP. But there have been a couple of years that Le LeBron should have won the MVP. And I think sometimes, Skip, we can get like Jordan, we, we just got tired. They get, they get tired. They, they don't do that in baseball. You win, look at Barry. Barry got seven, won like four in a row. Probably should have had like nine because Jeff Kent won one year. <laughs> he, I used to <laughs> call, uh, call him Jeff Kent. Yeah. yeah. So, so he might have should have had ten instead of seven. Hockey, yeah. Gretzky won it nine times in a row. Yep. So for me, I, I agree with Kuzma. I think he should. I don't agree with him. I think the point of Kuzma's argument is he should have more than four. Eight might be a little of an exaggeration, but I do believe he should have more than four. And Skip, with the way this thing, with the way we look at it, there's no doubt, there should be no doubt in anybody's mind, he's been the best player for longer than anybody else in the history of the game has been the best player. That doesn't make him the best player ever. Uh, well, we, they, well, there's no doubt about that. We've already established that, Skip. You uh, and I have established that. I think you're that. the only one in the whole world. No, I know I'm the only one, but we've already established that. And by the way, speaking of Michael Jeffrey Jordan, he could have won it every year, just <laughs> every year. You, you, it's just like, what are you doing? What about him? What about him? And you're right. They just got tired of it. <laughs> they, they accepted that's the level he plays at, and it's not fair, so we, we got to give it to this guy right. or that guy or this star right. or that star. Especially once, once you break through, Skip, because, you know, back in the 80s, I think he won it a couple of times, but you know, no. Bird and Magic had a stranglehold on it. Bird, we won it three straight years. So my first question to you is, when did Kyle Kuzma become LeBron James' hype man, his carnival barker, you know? his hurry, <laughs> hurry, step right up and see Read the, all about it. See the <laughs> ten-time MVP LeBron James, the king. Yeah. When did that happen? <laughs> For a while, he was the odd man out. Now he's, it's like, are you in or out? Like, the, remember the, between Kevin, the Kevin Love? Love? Yeah. Are, are you? What was the thing about in or out? Don't worry you, about fitting in. You're fitting in. You're, Stand you're out. fitting out. Yeah. Well, he's fitting way in now because he's trying to become it for LeBron. He he's going to he's going to be his hype man after every game. And and Kyle Kuzma is like the quote master too. And everything is wild exaggerations. <laughs> I told you last year LeBron should have won it over Giannis a year ago. I thought once we hit the pandemic, it should have been over and LeBron should have had the MVP. I do not think he deserves this year's MVP so far. And by the way, if I can just get this off my chest, LeBron was in full showboat mode last night against a Charlotte team that had just lost by 25 at Denver and forced to play back-to-back -back Denver and Los Angeles, and they look dead on their feet. They were dead-legged. They were not ready to play basketball last night. And LeBron, highest IQ in basketball, smell blood. And so he went into all-time attack mode, and he got his 37. And easy he, to, did he? he uh, well, was it easy? It was so easy that he's pouring it on late. 
he is running it up and rubbing it in late. Now, Skip, you see him make that run. Stop that. You make it seem like they didn't need them points. Okay, could we see the shot that he took with 47 seconds left? What is it? What did he just get? Watch this. This is 47 seconds left. And this, you're you're up nine, and I'm going to shoot another one. Whoops. Hold on. Hold on. Whoops. Oh, he missed it. He's trying to run up the score, and they're actually up 11 at that point. And he took that well, wild he shot. Well, he checked. Yeah, and then I'm not even going to show this because it happened near the buzzer. What time was it? Um, 15 seconds left. He, he got a lay, just an uncontested layup, and that gave him 37 points. So he's just running up his point total. Who owns the, who owns the Hornets? Who owns the yeah. Hornets? Yeah. Oh. What he do every time? I, I his high-scoring game came against who, Skip? Yep. At Charlotte. <laughs> okay, I got it. That's his his. Op, you know, that's his opportunity uh, to say, take this. I also think he wants to put the kid in his place, yeah. LaMelo. Like, let me show you, because LaMelo dared to say, oh. I don't really care about LeBron. I wasn't right. much of a fan right. of basketball right. growing up. And LeBron's, oh, okay, really? oh okay. okay, watch this. So I got it. But I can't make that an MVP case that he made. No, 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 Skip. That last, I mean, last night is just, is just adding on. That's just another layer to the cake that we've already been building okay. since day one. Okay, but he burned the cake back in February when you told me as soon as AD went down, there's going to be a stretch of nine <clears throat> games leading to the All-Star break. You bet me that they would go six and three. You bet me five cases they yeah. would go six and three. And I got to tell you, LeBron just stunk it up through that stretch. But you didn't he played only eight of those But games. you didn't tell me Schroeder was going to be out also. Okay, but it's it, okay, what about the best March? player on the planet. What about March? What about Mark? Okay. You keep well, talking about but, that. But this was the, the stretch with no AD. And look what <laughs> they, they lost four straight home games. They lost to Brooklyn, Miami, Washington, and Phoenix. And remember against Washington, he missed the free throw that would have won the game. Then he missed a three that would have tied at the end of, regular, uh, of overtime. And against Miami, he went one for eight from three. And he should have taken the last three to win the game. And he kicked it to Caruso. So I, the last I, I noticed. I noticed you conveniently jumped over. Ja you, know, you don't mention anything about January. You focus on March. You, I mean February. You ain't said nothing about March. Okay. Well, who has they played in March? They've won four in a row out of the break, but they've just played nobody. Seriously, what what have they done? Nobody. Not, not nobody, huh? Okay. And yet, and this is what just perplexes me about LeBron because he's so much better than this. So what happened at Golden State? That's probably their toughest test since the All Star break. Mm -hmm. And at Golden State, they're up by 20 going to the fourth quarter. And remember what happened? 8-14 left and 7-20 left. He makes threes. that They pulled their starters. The starters are all gone except for Oubre. But, but Steph and Draymond, they're out. Yeah. And he makes threes with 8-14 left to put them up 25. And then 7-20 left to put them up 28. And I'm saying, who gets away with that? LeBron can because he's the face of the league. Let me ask you a question. I, 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 hold on. I'm watching a game the other night in which the Portland Trailblazers was playing somebody, and the team had them down by 18, had them down by 15. Pelicans. With, with five minutes to go. Yeah, I know it was the Pelicans. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I'm just pretending like I'm racking my brain. I know yeah. exactly who it was. Skip, why would why would Dame still be in the game? The game is over. You are about 15 with five minutes. Mm -hmm. You remember they played Golden State early in the year, had them down by 19. Bull jived around, and what happened, Skip? You think they're going to come back from? From 25 with eight minutes. No, we're gonna make sure. Oh, we're gonna make okay. sure. You're gonna make sure that you get your points late to well, chase Kareem and the all-time points record. Skip. It's okay. No, no, no. We we ain't chasing nobody. Mm. We chasing greatness. Mm. I mean, we we I mean we we know we we chasing greatness. Okay. He played 37 minutes last night and they were not needed. Yes, and they you, were. You could have cut it to 32 minutes. Skip, how are you gonna cut it? They had an 18-point lead. They had an 18-point lead, a 15-point lead at half. And with 59 seconds, the lead was down to seven. At one point in time, the Hornets had come all the way back and took the lead. So how in the hell are you going to tell me he don't need to play? The Hornets came all the way back from 18 down to take a lead. Why were you, he played to the buzzer? And it's it's a wipeout. It's over. How is it a wipeout, Skip? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're done. You're you're cooked. Okay, well, so, so, what, so what would you have said have an 18-point lead? And LeBron James, they lose that game. Well, they're not going to. Skip, they would skip. They had come all the way back and taken the lead. You saw that. You're mm -hmm. watching the game. Mm -hmm. I did see that. But now we're, you're trying to make a case for MVP this year. And look what he's doing. 
He's 36.7% from the three-point line. That 38, that's 37%. Okay. Well, it's 36.7. Skip, you let's right be, up. Let's nail it. No, no. Let's you be specific. Since we, since when do okay, we nail like, it? Here, this is specific. This is not rounding up or down. He ranks 112th of 160 qualified three-point shooters. Okay. 112th. Free throw line, 69.9%. I'll even round up to 70. I'll give you 70. That ranks 95th of 106 qualified three uh, free throw shooters. Okay. So he ranks 112th in threes, 95th in free throws. And you're saying, and wait a second, I should even throw in, he's fourth in the league in turnovers. And you're saying he's the MVP? I don't get it. So, so, so who's the MVP? I think James Harden's edged ahead. I don't think so. What about Embiid? You said Embiid. Well, I, you, you told me he's disqualified because he hadn't played enough. I, I ain't tell you that, but you, you, you gonna get told a guy, me that yesterday. You're going to get a guy the MVP that's going to miss 20, 25 well, games? I told you it's going to be hard, and I don't know how yeah. long he's going to be out now, but let's see how long it takes. Yeah, the man's averaging 26, 8, and 8, and he's playing without his second best player. Mm. And in the month of February, he stunk. What a skip. We almost, we were almost one weekend before April, and you still talking about February? Well, Mention January. I know, but we said February was the time he could run away and hide. Okay, he did not run away and hide. He did not. Did he, lose, did he lose that much ground that he's out of the MVP discussion? Well, Embiid even trumped, got, got a butt, you know, vaulted him in the, the odds. Yeah. You know, he went to the top. Where the odds at now? Right on schedule. Where the odds at now? Well, he got hurt. AD got hurt. Yeah. Did it. See, you said AD. Okay, I said, okay, this is his opportunity. But Schroeder, you didn't tell me mm. Schroeder was going to miss four games. Okay, since Schroeder's well, come when back. When did he turn into Kyrie Schroeder? Skip, there's a reason why they traded for him. Mm. There's a reason why they let Rondo go. There's a reason why that man starts. He's in the starting lineup. Mm. There's a reason why LeBron plays off the ball more this year than he has at any other time. So don't, don't minimize the man, Dennis Domenech, and he's a ball hawk. And I'm not minimizing that you say that LeBron James is the best player on the planet. He is. If he is, then you just rise above this and you carry your team in ways that he didn't carry your How team. many times the best player on the planet has won a championship by himself? Well, Jordan did. No, Jordan didn't. Jordan couldn't get out of the first round until he got Scottie Pippen. Mm. Huh? Let's, let's be real. He could not get out the first round without Scotty. Got swept twice, won one game in his first three that playoffs. That wasn't about Scotty. That was about Michael just oh, see, growing about, up. Now it's about growing up. Yep. Now about growing up. Look at my buddy. Hey, you about to have a, you, about, you have to open your arms a little wider, bro, because mm. you're about to have five. You have to open your arms up like this. <laughs> he got them like this here, Skip. Family <laughs> growing. The family growing. He about to look like the Duggars. You know that family used to come on uh, uh, one of them channels. Mm -hmm. The reality they got about 18, yep. 19 kids. Yeah, he about to be like the Douglas. <laughs> really? His family about to expand. I know he's a little old to be having kids, but he about to have another one. All I know for <laughs> sure is he is campaigning. No, there you go. Ain't nobody is. campaigning. Ain't nobody politicking. He deserves it. That's what he said. He deserves it. Well, yeah, he should be politicking. Okay. I'm politicking. I'm about to start yeah. politicking because yeah. I wanna, I want an Emmy. Mm. I'm politicking. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I want it. You deserve an Emmy. More I than agree. he deserves MVP. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Let's get Emmys for the show. Shame. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Skip. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, all right. Hearing you say politics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I appreciate the love all around, and I like Kuzma's appreciation yeah. for his teammate, for LeBron getting it done. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.